morning. It's travel day. We just left Thousand Trail San Benito and we're headed towards Paso Robles and um, it's, we're trying to beat the rain. It's starting to rain a little bit but a big storm is coming in so we're hoping we get there before it starts to pour. We had a great time in uh, Thousand Trails in San Benito. We did uh, some riding out there's a wine country there we didn't know about which is kind of pretty and we went to pinnacles and did a great hike even did some wine tasting and enjoyed our time there now we're headed towards Cabo Robles which is a place we've stayed in the past love that place got a great Black Friday sale so we're gonna stay 10 nights there and are really looking forward to it so we'll see you there Good morning everyone, it's Hank here coming to you from Paso Robles, California at the Sun Outdoors RV Resort. This is going to be a crazy week ahead for weather. We have several days of heavy rain with some nice sunny days in between with a high of 56. So go out there and have a great, oh no, oh no, okay, gotta go. Our first ride took us out to North Paso to explore the ranches and the vineyards. Mike and I are fascinated by abandoned buildings, especially historical ones. While on our ride, we came across this youth correctional facility that we later learned was established in 1947. It served as a youth conservation camp in partnership with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, CAL FIRE, and provided educational programs to countless youth over the decades, closing in 2008. We also learned that a development company has purchased the land and plans to build a winery, restaurants, hotel, museum, and retail space.
to California Coast Beer Company. It's a brewery that we found online. Um, Paso's really got a lot of great breweries, so we're gonna go check this one out. Their motto is, life is good out here, which sounds great to us. <laughs> um, the other thing about it is that it's in an old auto body shop, so they've refurbished it using all the products from the auto body shop, so that sounds pretty cool. And their deck was made from the, um, Pismo Beach Pier, an old Pismo Beach Pier. So anyway, we're gonna go check it out. This brewery often has live music, and we were lucky enough to catch Lauren and Silas, a singer-songwriter duo from LA. Next morning, we set out to ride our favorite winery loop. They put okay. the region. Oh, okay. so the Chianti region. is the region. The grape is Angiovese. So oh. Angiovese and Chianti are one and the same. Okay.
As we were leaving the winery, we were treated to a beautiful sunset and full moon rise. The next day, we headed out west to San Simeon for a tour of Hearst Castle. Here we go. After the tour of Hearst Castle, we went a few miles up the coast to the Piedras Blancas Elephant Seal Rookery. We met up with a volunteer who gave us a little information about the birthing of the elephant seals. When they do, they'll come in and have their pups here? Yes. Oh wow, what month yep. is that generally? Well, our first pup last year was born on December 15th. Oh, okay. Um, the so. big month is the month of January. Okay. Yeah, that's, Good to know. Our last ride in Paso Robles took us further north to Cross Canyons Road. Adobe Church and Graveyard. <laughs> First Protestant church in northern San Luis Obispo County, built in Like my favorite loop. Later that day, we went to the clubhouse to grab a beer.
everyone. We just wanted to do a little recap of our time here in Paso Robles. And one of the highlights was all the great road riding we did. Um, the weather's been good and the roads are awesome to ride on. Not much traffic and lots of scenery. And yeah, yeah, I love riding through all those vineyards and the ranches and seeing the hawks and that tarantula we saw today or looked like a tarantula. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun. And then our time at the Hearst Castle, the tour we did there was really neat. Um, first time there for both of us. And a lot to see, what a cool place, what a cool story. Um, very interesting. Yeah, what you could do if you had a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of money. And then we went to a couple wineries. Um, yeah, Everly was fun. The people were so nice. Yeah, that place with the wine caves and the nice people and the um, beautiful deck they had to sit out on beautiful. and see the sunset. Yeah, that's cool. And then we went to two different breweries. One was California Coast Brewing. And Paso Robles Brewing Company. And Paso Robles Brewing Company. Both were fairly new. They've only been around for three or four years. But, um, but very cool vibe. <laughs> Very neat places to hang out and really good beer. Um, and then the RV park here at Cava was a big highlight um, with the jacuzzi right across from our camp spot. Man, it doesn't get better than this place, I don't think. Yeah. All the amenities, it's beautiful here. All the places to hang out and fire pits. It just doesn't feel like a campground. It feels like a resort, and that's been amazing. And Christine happened to get 40% off on a Black Friday yeah. deal. <laughs> so that's okay. why we're here for 10 days and enjoying every minute of it. It's gone by so, too quick. Two more nights. <laughs> yeah. Then we're off to Morgan Hill. Morgan Hill. <laughs> we'll compare them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's any comparison, but right. still be so, good. Yeah. Anyway, see you. See you at the next place.